Hey guys, and welcome to another one of Titan Tries. This time up on the examination block, we have Zombie Apocalypse. Again, a Xbox Live Arcade game <clears throat> for the 360. Now, I'd forgotten about this game, and as I was scrolling through my game library, I was like, Zombie Apocalypse? What's the stats? And then I went to game details and I remembered this is a twin stick shooter um, made by Konami. Uh, would you believe it when, when Konami made games? Um, they're coming for your brains. Time to lock and load. This game requires the Xbox 360 hard drive or the 512 megabyte memory unit for storage. <laughs> Remember that? Those memory cards that um, you could only fit on the original um, fat uh, models of the uh, Xbox 360. Because they had the memory card slots on those. How strange was that? I've got one of them somewhere. I think it's a 256 gig one. A 256 gig? 256 megabyte one. Somewhere. Um, of course, on the redesigned... Uh, slim unit there was no memory card because you didn't need them although it's such a strange feature to have a machine that had a memory card uh, slot and then remove it whether you needed it or not it was just weird to, to totally remove that and of course the Xbox 360 E that I have does not have one either uh, memory card slots so uh, yes interesting game I've pretty much completed this to completion as well uh, i do remember back when in oh this is nihilistic software no the publisher was konami i remember back when the xbox arcade um was such an interesting just slurry of all sorts of different games you never knew what you was going to run into but let's have a go on this i remember this being quite hard and i believe i sat down and completed it three player because it is a up to four player cop game much better with friends and alcohol yeah and uh we finished it and it was great we had loads of fun but that was 10 years ago now let's go back to it see if it holds up 2009 this is insane. This is, you know, stuff like this just blows my mind. Like the Xbox 360, I always think in my head of a mon. Uh, it's a modern console. You know, I, you see posts online with a like, retro games console Xbox 360, and you read that post and you think, "Fuck off, retro console, my ass." And uh, yeah, it's just ten years ago. To think now that the um, the Xbox One and the PlayStation Four. In technology terms, they're dinosaurs now. That that hurts my head to think about. PlayStation 5 and Xbox 2.5, or whatever the fuck they're going to call it, it's going to be out next year, possibly. It's just so weird. Where does time go? Anyway, let's go for it. So you could have uh, local multiplayer, is the way we played it. Xbox Live multiplayer. Yeah, I doubt there's uh, anyone still playing this, to be honest. Uh, leaderboards, achievements, I think, did I get, like, yeah, I got all the achievements back in the day. Some of these were quite hard to get as well. Um, okay. So, I did, uh, did, did we get downloadable content for this game? Back when DLC was literally just cheap. No. Little add-on packs. No, I guess not. Uh, anyway, let's go single player. So, we can choose what day we start on. Day 55, I guess day 55 is the max. So we get chainsaws only, all weapons, seven days of hell, turbo, hardcore, blackout, default. Let's go default for now. Only games started on day one will be counted towards leaderboards. Okay. So we get to pick a survivor here. Um, we've got some interesting characters. I think they're all the same. I don't think they any of them have... Uh, special abilities so Harlan was in medical school when the zombies took over his extremely OCD often color coordinating all of his surgical tools to match the seasons and fights to rid the world of disease one headshot at a time turn your head and die 
And then uh, a natural athlete, Natalie, wanted to be a stunt woman as a child, but schizophrenia kept her out of the action. Haunted by hallucinations, she fights zombies through a haze of lithium and thorazine. Finally, a demon I can actually kill. Jimmy was looping uh, the toughest shooters before he could walk. By age, and by age 10, he already built his first arcade cabinet. He sees the zombie holocaust as one big game. Each zombie killed as a notch, on, notch up in his uh, life's high score. Girls are like RPGs. You gain XP as you go along. But the fights always get tougher. Girls are like RPGs. You gain XP as you go along, but the fights always get tougher. Okay. And then Ed. A bum knee took Ed's military dreams from him. Just as a poor boy would rather later take away his wife. When the zombies took over, he knew he couldn't stand to lose anymore. God gave us the power to destroy ourselves. I've been practicing for 47 years. Damn, I like the sound of Ed. Ed's badass. Jimmy, 86. Eh, like, I don't know. Bit of a random one. Now, I think I always used to play as Natalie, because she kind of looks like Michelle Rodriguez there. But as I say, I think all the characters are like basically the same. Let's be Ed. There's the controls there. We get zombie bait, I remember. Like like little teddies or something. Chainsaw. Nice. Left stick is move or break zombie grasp. That's going to be nice to know. And it is a twin stick shooter. Uh, and I'm very fond of twin stick shooters. This is not the only one that I have on the Xbox 360. The chainsaw has two modes, does it? Radio told us to stay hidden inside and let the world die. Ah, straight away. Okay, so I think we have to save these people. Each day we survive, and we survive by killing all the zombies. Um, yeah, uninfected. And we get a bonus for saving them, I believe. Come on, zombie scum! Each day is a different arena. Up to day... Seven, I think. You get a week. Oh, we've got another person to save. Come here, lost soul. I shall save you. Doesn't seem like he's got a bum knee, does he? Um, yeah, and then the game just keeps looping around, I think. And I think you have to... I, I don't know what day you have to get up to. Um, to complete the single player, I can't remember. I mean, the latest date that we can start is 55, so I'm assuming 50, there's 55 days. I don't know. But it does get progressively harder, and they keep adding, um, like, more guns and different zombie types. Day one survived very easy, you see. They will not stay that easy. There are... In oh, God, I remember that. Um, there are... Lots of environmental kills in this game as well. There's quite a lot in it, really, for what it is. I mean, th there isn't a lot in it. There's a few arenas, seven, and a load of zombies to shoot. It's fairly bare bones, but these arcade games were, if you remember. But it is a good one. The frame rate is eight. It doesn't run very well at times, which, again, was quite common for these arcade games. They never really optimised. We are the janitors of the living. Come and mop up something's vomit. All right, let's do this. Now, these piles of ooze that these guys vom up uh, slow you down. They don't actually poison you or anything, which is worth knowing. Come on, you zombie bastards. Just wait before the scythe. Now, this is the standard machine gun you get. Um, you do get other weapons. Drop. As we get further into the game, but they are limited use. The machine gun is unlimited. Now, to get enemies in to these yeah, environmental kill zones, you've just got to shoot them in there. There's there's no point in it really. You get extra points, but nothing really happens. You just shoot them in, and they get minced up. What I want to know is who's running all this machinery. The world's gone to hell, and all this machinery is still in like tip-top condition. But uh, this game feels like it's running at about 25 frames a second. It doesn't feel very smooth, sadly. And, oh god, we've got a survivor. I hear ya. There she is. 
jump to daddy. Daddy's got you. Uh, all the survivors are these women in suits. Uh, business women. I, I don't know why. It's a bit strange. Oh god, she's being killed. No, no, no. We lost her. We lost her. She's going to turn into a hard ass zombie. Damn, I can't believe we lost her. Yeah, if, like, if a zombie grabs you, you can push them off with the left analog stick. But if they grab you, um, it's a little bit different. I think they're a one-hit kill. And they are quite tough as well. There we go, we saved her. Nice. Yeah, you're alive. You can go back and... Oh, God. No, 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 no. We're down, we're down. It's definitely more challenging to talk and shoot. It definitely is. Okay. Just keep going around in circles. Let's throw some zombie bait out there. There we go. Mr. Tickles can go do his thing. Yeah, she can uh, go be rescued and go do her office work somewhere else. I assume we're going to need office people in the apocalypse. Plenty of uh, water coolers and, you know, to stand around. Plenty of water coolers. Imagine that. I'm sure people who work in offices do other things as well. Like, you know, push pencils around and eat donuts. Right. Okay. Not bad. Now, there is only a limit of, um... Well, the zombies are finite. It's not done on time. You just have to kill all the zombies, I think. And each day brings us a new arena. Some of the arenas are cool. Like, they're quite detailed. There's a lot of stuff going on. I was going to say, there's got to be, like, one zombie left somewhere. Every time you save... <laughs> you silly fool. Yeah, uh, that actually makes me remember something else. I think if you die, you get a different animation to if you complete the level without dying. Also, you lose a bonus um, score. And your multiplier resets as well, by the look of things. A lot of this has come back to me. I must have played the shit out of this. Hopefully, we're going to get some new weapons. Because I think you get a shotgun... Can't remember. Yeah, oh, there you go. You get a shotgun. <clears throat> this is a cool map, actually. Oh God, get off! Get off! Get off! You fucking sneaky bastards! Shotgun doesn't have a lot of ammo, though. Oh, look at all these. We've got some nice environmentals on this level. It's like a city center. A little bit like Raccoon City, but you know, only not. So not really like Raccoon City at all. Come on, you zombie bastards! Get off me! No. You shall not take me alive this day. Ooh, another shotgun. Yeah, the, sh the like standard machine gun you get is pretty good. But it, as this gets harder and heats up and you get more enemies on the screen. Ah, oh, look, there's a garbage truck. Come on, everybody. Oh, God, hello. Uh, maybe not you. Right, come here, love. Stop running. Right, there we go. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, she's dead. She's dead. Man, I'm sucking at saving these people. Never mind. I mean, it doesn't matter. We just get teddies if we do save them. And more points. And the teddies are always good. Teddies can seriously change the outcome of a battle. It can literally be life or death. Changing. Okay, not bad, not bad. Light them up, boys! And the machine gun, although it does sound quite weak, it is quite satisfying to use. The shotgun's nice. I'm trying to think of the other weapons we get. I think we get, like, SMGs later on, which are quite spicy. Oh, another one. Okay, come here. To stop them from running, you have to grab them and touch them. That sounds really wrong, but you know what I mean. Come on. Oh, get off me. No. I died because of you. I died because of you, bitch. We've still got three lives left. I want that teddy. Let's fight our way towards the teddy. I'm coming. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. The more uh, zombies you have around you, the harder it is to shake them off. Oh, God. Why did that... Who sang that sh song, Shake It Off? Why is that in my head? Damn it! Get out of my head! 
I shall purge you with metal later. Yank. Looks like we missed out on the teddy. Oh, no. Yeah, we missed out on the teddy, but we've got a shotgun. I want to shoot someone into the back of the... Yeah. 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 The RCV. Get in the RCV. No. <sighs> Never mind. Well, the zombie hordes are certainly tenacious today. And they're definitely puking up the green stuff. Once they introduce a new zombie, um, you will encounter the new zombie uh, on every level afterwards. Same with the weapons and power-ups and whatnot. I think the biggest problem in this game is it's very samey, you know. Apart from the fact that every now and again they do throw extra enemies in. And extra weapons. It is basically the same deal. There's no story or anything like that. Story? Who needs one of those? But as I said, the best fun of this game was... Um, I remember we used to come home from work and we used to play this uh, multiplayer. Uh, especially on a Friday, if none of us had work the next day. We'd just stay up all night playing this, drinking beer. Or oh, scotch or whatever was available. It was loads of fun. This really is quite fun to come back to this after all this time. <laughs> Ah, this is a cool level. I do like. Me like. I don't know how long I'm going to play this for as well. I might just... Oh, God. These zo I remember these zombies. They kind of twitch all over the place. And they're really hard to hit. But we got this. We got this. Hey, we started with a teddy as well. Nice. That's good. Get into the blades, you bitch. Yeah, these are like uh, nurses, I guess. Come on, give me a weapon. Give me a weapon, damn it! There we go, nice. Oh, God. Come here, you. Right, let's get that out. Now, you can't actually kill these survivors yourself, I don't think. But definitely the best way to save them is to throw a teddy. Oh, God. Because uh, the zombies will just all gravitate towards the teddy. Unless they're far enough away. I think they will still aggro towards you. Oh, God. No. Back, bitch. Say hello to my boomstick. There we go. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Not today, motherfucker. There we go. Ah, another one. We've got a teddy as well, so that's cool. Yeah, because if you notice, as soon as we touch her, you get a flare appear at her feet. So smoke them if you got them, boys. Nice. Oh god, oh god! No! 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 No, get off, get off! No! Ah, oh, unbelievable. <sighs> we still got a life left. Don't charge into the horde. Get off, get off! Nope, that's fine. I want to show you as many of these arenas as I can. There we go. Now, I think the survivors are random as well. I don't know if there's X amount per level. I'm not really sure. I think there's like two per level, but at the same time... Oh god, get off me. I'm sure there can be more in the later ones. Give me the shotgun. Yeah, not a massive fan of the shotgun thinking about it after having it for a little while. I definitely prefer some of the other weapons that we get later on. Damn it, fool! Stop dropping your weapon! What are we on, actually? We're only on 18 minutes. Yeah, we keep going. Right, one second there, guys. I need to answer the phone. And we're back, guys. Right, let's continue. And whilst I'm thinking about that, let's also put my phone on silent. There we go. Right, so, yeah, I could show the chainsaw off, but, like, to... Oh, I love this, but to be honest, it kind of sucks. There we go. I mean, it's good for getting points, but it leaves you so vulnerable. I like. I don't really see where we could ever use it. And look how cool this is. This place always reminds me of like a Silent Hill game or something. I don't know why, because this game has much more comedy than Silent Hill. Silent Hill's not very funny, you know. It's very dark. Oh, get off me! Get off me! Fucker! Oh yes, these weapons. These are my favourite. Like the dual uh, SMGs. 
These are crazy cool. And you get a good amount of ammo with them as well. Come here, bitch. Oh, you're not bitch. You're a survivor. But yes, you are technically bitch. Cause... Oh, no. No, no. Oh, I saved her. I saved her, but I didn't. I even I got the points for saving her. Damn it. No. Get off me. Save me. Stop giving me the shotgun. Give me the SMG. Ah, fight, fight for your life. Whew. That got sketchy there. I mean, I don't mind the office ladies dying. But, uh, we kind of need to survive. We're going to see all of the arenas. Nice. Let's stack them bodies. And it is kind of impressive. I do like these... Ooh, little arcade games. There were some really good Xbox arcade games that came out, to be fair. Come on, come on. Survive, survive. No! And again, we died because of her. We died because of her. Right, have a teddy. Have a teddy. Fight through the crowd. Get the gun. You go play with Tickles. See that, like, lag spike there of two frames? The game's just like calculating all of the damage. Uh, I don't know whether it's poor optimization or just the very old slow CPU. Who knows? Alright, not bad. But then saying that, like, oh, that was quite a short level. Saying that though, the Xbox 360 CPU was quite the beast when it came out. But then what's this? 2009. This would have been four years into the Xbox's life because it came out right at the end of 2005. So I guess it would have been aging. I mean, it's not like with the PlayStation and the Xbox One where their CPUs were dinosaurs when the machines launched. The Xbox and the PlayStation 3 were state-of-the-art bits of kit when they came out. <laughs> right. Oh, I remember this. Oh man, what was there's um there's a zombie film. What was it called? Nazi zombies or something. It's like one of those B movie horrors. Uh about a load of zo Nazi zombies um in a very icy snowy area. And they It's kind of slapstick. I can't remember what it's called now. Snow something. Kind of in the same vein as like zombie hookers, but without the hookers. Oh man, that's gonna rack up the points. There we go. Beautiful. Fuck you, zombies! Ah, I got my favourites. Got my favourites. What was it called? Snow dog. I want to say it's called snow dogs, but I don't think it was. But yeah, you had like zombie Adolf Hitler and. These teens were trying to survive, and they find an underground bunker, and shenanigans in, uh, ensue. It was quite a good film, from what I remember. Oh god, we might have to deploy a teddy! Zombies! Getting out of control! No, we're fine. We're fine, we got this, we got this. We're, oh no, 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 we don't got this. We don't got, yeah, we got this, we got this. What are we even worried about, man? Oh, fire. Yeah, the frame rate really starts to tank out when you get this many Zeds on screen. Come on, little Xena CPU. You can't do it. Or well, Zenon CPU, actually. Oh, God. Cut your way through. Yeah, I remember. God, how much talk there was about the Zenon. And then it was completely overshadowed by the... Uh, PlayStation 3's cell processor. But the Xenon was a lot yeah, easier to program for. That's right. You don't mess with Sergeant Kickass. Sergeant Kickass. And in many ways it was more uh, more capable than the the cell processor because it was so easy to program for. Big boy, don't let him touch you as his grapple cannot be broken. Oh yeah, I remember these guys. Grab up the shotgun. These guys suck. Come here, construction worker. Wow. Take shotgun blast to the face. That's. Oh, no. No. Well, I mean, 
But there we go. That's kind of what happens when he grapples us. But yeah, uh, with a talented, talented, talented developer, um, the Zen CPU, uh, the Cell CPU, I should say, could do some incredible things way beyond what it was capable of. But then the PlayStation 3 was very uh, one-sided because you had crazy amounts of CPU power, but a very, very basic and uh, even for the time, very poor um, GPU made by NVIDIA. Now, interesting thing actually about the play... Oh shit, the PlayStation 3 is... Oh, we're dead! Well, at least you get to see all the arenas. Uh, the PlayStation 3 was never originally meant to have a GPU. Everything was going to be done on the CPU. Uh, which... Well, that would have been interesting. So I think Nvidia only had like 18 months or something to come up with a GPU for it and then had to integrate it into the system. Yeah, it's a long convoluted thing. There's loads of documentaries on it. It's actually very interesting. Anyway, guys, well, that zombie apocalypse anyway, um, I guess this ain't going to be a very long video. But, I mean, you've basically seen all of the game, just seen the selection of the weapons. All that happens now is the game will just loop back around to the start. But it will have all of the weapons and it will just get progressively harder until you either complete the game or die. So, I, I enjoyed this game. It hasn't really held up too well now, uh, I don't think. It's not something that I would go back to and play. However, if I had four people that wanted to play it, maybe, maybe, maybe. I think there still could be fun couch co-op with this game. Single player? Not really. Couch co-op? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, till next time.